Hey everybody, Larry Snow here, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up the MailChimp for WooCommerce plugin on your WordPress website. This plugin unlocks a, a lot of powerful features on your MailChimp account that you're gonna to want to implement. So let's get started. It's coming right up. couple of things to point out before I actually show you how to set this up is a I'm not going to be talking about how to set up WordPress and I'm not going to be talking about how to set up a MailChimp account and I'm not going to be talking about how to set up WooCommerce you have to have all those three pieces in place before we can install this plugin all right if you need help with those types of things please let me know in the comments and I'll help you out the best I can so the first thing we got to do in, is install this plugin. So we go over to our dashboard on our WordPress website. We go down to plugins, click on add new. Then we're going to go over to search plugins and we're going to type in MailChimp for WooCommerce. There we go. MailChimp for WooCommerce. And here we are now. To be clear, it is not MailChimp for WordPress, it is not Easy Forms for MailChimp, and it is not WooCommerce MailChimp. It is the plugin that MailChimp has created, and it's called MailChimp for WooCommerce. Okay, so just to put down any confusion that you might have about which plugin it's supposed to be. All right, so we're gonna click on Install Now. I'm going to click on activate. Now, as soon as you activate the plugin, it's going to ask you for your MailChimp API key. So we're going to go over to our MailChimp account and here we go. That's the right one. Go down to account, go over to extras, click on API keys. And if you don't have an API key here set up, you can just click on create key and add it in. Command A, Command C, go over to our plugin, paste it in, click on Save All Changes. So far, so good. So what we've just done is actually communicated to MailChimp that we have your plugin on our WordPress website. Now MailChimp says, okay, I see that we got that connected. Now let's plug in some more information. So it's looking for store settings. So we this is all required. So I'm going to put in our store information. And I'm going to put in security marketing solutions. There we go. And I'm going to change the email. There we go. And everything looks good. Now, below that we have locale settings and you can pick uh, from a lot of choices for the language. And then you're gonna pick your currency and your time zone. Once you all have all that set, you'll click on save all settings. All right, now when you save all settings, another couple of things show up here that uh, you may not wanna skip. It is uh, adding in a default from name. So I'll put in Larry Snow. And it's also asking you what type of permission your reminder you want in, uh, when you send out information. So you can just keep it generic or you can change it and be more specific. All right, once all that's done, we click on Save All Changes and it'll switch over to now List Settings. So you wanna select the list that you want to connect your WooCommerce store to. I will select Free Ebook Signup. And also it's asking you, do you want to do an initial sync with your current customers and their email addresses and all that information coming in. So since I don't have any products and I don't have any customers, that's an easy thing for me to say, yeah, sure, <laughs> bring everything in, which is absolutely zero. But sometimes you don't want to bring in people, maybe they're already in the list and you've put them in a different way, so maybe you wanna opt out of this. So just make the right choice there for your setup. The next thing up is to actually have an opt-in 
form right on your checkout when people purchase things from your store. So I just keep it generic for this demonstration, subscribe to our newsletter. Obviously you wanna come up with a better call to action than just subscribe to our newsletter. The next options you have is checkout display options. You have three to choose from. You can do visible, checked, visible, unchecked, and hidden, unchecked. The next section down is the advanced checks box settings where you can actually change where you want this opt-in form to be placed. Right now it's default on the checkout billing form, but you can move it around in there. And there are ways to do that with adding in a form, a different form action and you can get more of those by clicking on that link there. But I'm just gonna keep it the same right now and click on Save All Changes. All right, so we are now doing the sync process, which if you have a lot of customers and products already purchased, already stored in your database on your WordPress website, and then it's gonna take a long time, or at least a considerably long time to actually port that information over to MailChimp. So. For me, I don't have anything, so it's no big deal. The last uh, tab here, we have logs. So if you're having experiencing any trouble or things aren't connecting or things aren't syncing, there are a couple of options here. You have a debug option or you have a standard option or you don't want to log it at all. Uh, so if things are going wacky, you might want to switch on the debug to see what's going on. I'm just going to click save changes there even though I didn't really change anything. All right, so we've done all of the WordPress stuff now. Now we get into the fun stuff, taking a look at what MailChimp provides for us with this connection. Okay, I'm now over on the, uh, just logged into my MailChimp account, and I'm, I'm over here on the MailChimp homepage, the dashboard. And if I scroll down a little bit, it's going to uh, uh, give me an opportunity to see my e-commerce performance. Now, these are the, this is one of the features you get now that, now that your store is connected. You get to see how well your sales are going. You can do that in WooCommerce, but you can also do it in MailChimp. Now, I only have one sale for the past seven days, so I can go down here and I can click on the past 30 days, and we get a better... Uh, view of things and how things are going and I can switch over to orders and it can show me how many orders I got for that particular past 30 days. So that is pretty cool. One of the nice features and if you over here right underneath e-commerce performance there it says three stores connected. No, I had two previously that you didn't see and then I just added in security marketing solutions. So let's click on three stores connected link and see what opens up. So it opens up to our latest uh, store that we just connected and we can also switch between other stores So these are the features that we have now kind of unlocked because we have that connection So let's review these features now the pop-up form is exactly that it's like an opt-in for your mail list And uh, so that's pretty cool and the next one down is a band in cart email now That's something I'm currently testing and I'm going to show you how I set that up In fact, that's the only thing I've set up so far in this list. So we'll come back to that one Product retargeting email is letting is an email that you can send out to people who have viewed a particular product on your WooCommerce store. And that you can say, well, I noticed you viewed this one. Why don't we go take a look at this one? That type of thing. The next one down is order notifications. It'll take care of sending receipts and invoices and, and shipping uh, communications and all that type of stuff. I let WooCommerce handle all that, but you can actually do it through MailChimp itself. So all very great features. So let's get back to abandoned cart email and see how that actually works. So I don't have it set up, obviously, on the new one we just created, so I'll show you one that I've set up previously on another store. So here is the abandoned cart email. And as you can see, it's set up as a sending, so it's kind of like an autoresponder. It will always send when, when certain uh, things match. It will, uh, it will automatically send an email. So let's take a look at that email that I have created. So we'll open it up. Now, obviously, you're going to brand it differently. You're going to add in your own colors and all that type of thing. But the really neat thing, other than the image that I put in here, all of that text came in pre-formatted. They have about, I think there are about three options that you can choose from for abandoned cart emails. 
So that is a really cool feature that you don't have to really worry about the copywriting and, and sales ads and all that type of thing. You can maybe change uh, certain words here and there to make it more specific to, you, to your store. But I just left it the way it is and it looks really cool. Now you'll see here it says feel free to finish checking out. Now, one of the questions you might be asking you, well, how do they capture something if they didn't actually purchase anything? The, the email address didn't go into your, your mailing list. Well, that is a great question. <laughs> uh, I looked it up uh, on MailChimp, and according to uh, what MailChimp says, that they capture transactional recipient information. So let's say they fill out the checkout, but they didn't actually buy anything. I'm pretty sure what happens is that MailChimp grabs that information and just holds it and when it meets that criteria it'll send out this email and if I get more specifics I'll let you know in the comments below I'll do a little bit more research again I'm testing this and if you know more then post in the comments below I'd love to hear your opinions on it now as we wrap up this video there's one other thing I want to mention is that once you make these connections and start implementing some of these things you want to start thinking about segmentation so you can send specific emails to people who have purchased a specific product or purchase something within a specific WooCommerce category on your store which is really kind of neat I'm not covering that obviously in this video but it's something that you should be aware of that uh, that's something that you can actually implement so thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up because that gives me some feedback that you actually enjoyed this video. If you want to know more about me, go to larrysnow.me and I'll see you in the next video.